Okay, in this video we're quickly going to edit our menu so it reflects the contents we've added so far. Uh, we'll close a few of these tabs. Uh, we'll double click the menu panel in the viewport tab uh, to edit it. Let's change the first menu item to best sellers. We need to update this menu item to point to the correct panel for best sellers because if you remember in the last video we changed the order of these states. The second will change to children's. And again, we need to update the on click state to set the correct panel state. And the third label will change to classics. If you remember, the content of widgets remains the same across all views. So let's run a preview with F5 or Command Shift P on Mac to see how our project is looking. Great. OK. Great. OK. So we've very quickly added some new listings to our project using an adaptive custom widget. You should now understand how to create adaptive custom widgets and start to appreciate the power of custom widget libraries. What we need to do now is add a product detail page to our project that's coming up in the next video.